So, uh, episode two, um, I gotta say, it's a marked improvement over the first episode. Um, the cringy dialogue is toned way, way down. My, my guess is that's because it's just not as exposition heavy. You don't have characters just literally just like, <laughs> basically just yelling out plot points left and right for the rest of the season. But, um, besides that, though, um... Yeah, no, it's still better. Like the all the actors still do a great job. Um, I do like how this episode has a bit of a dry wit to it. Uh, well, it's like when like uh, Mr. Porter goes up to Jessica, just like, "Hey, if you need to like to talk about anything," and she's like, are, are, "Are you are you fucking serious? I mean, you're you're fucking awful at your job. That was the point of the last season." But uh, <laughs> yeah. anyway, but uh, besides that, though. Um, Still, uh, I, I can I'm guess I can guess where this season's going. This is everyone's gonna take the stand at some point or another. It's gonna make you continue question who are you supposed to sympathize with? Like, for example, uh, who was it? Uh, was there the character that went up uh, this this episode or uh, whatever? Uh, Courtney is she the uh, is she the Asian lesbian girl? Whatever whatever it is, who that girl? What, like, firstly, I I detested her with a goddamn passion. So the fact she's the one who just said I'm completely blameless in all this and uh, just um, yeah, no, and then and then she try decides to do the right thing. So yeah, clearly you you sympathize her more with her for because of that. I don't know if I like her, but once again, the show doesn't really take a stance on whether it's supposed to like these characters or not. So. Good on it, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, besides that, uh, yeah, and, uh, but by far the best thing, though, I, uh, just... <coughs> um, the best thing, though, hands down, though, is... I guess the writers realized this one, that that I far the best part of the show was anytime Gather and Langford and Dylan Minnette were playing off with each other, because those two have a fantastic chemistry with one another. And and oh god, I uh, I guess I guess I, the writers were thinking through what my elite thought was in the last episode, like uh, Clay, Clay, if you're seeing a dead person and they're speaking to you. That means you're schizophrenic, and, um, the, uh, and, uh, yeah, no, they get to that. Basically, the episode starts with him and just Hannah, and Hannah just sitting with each other being like, are, are you, a, are you a ghost? And she's like, I don't know. He's like, well, this is completely fucked up. <laughs> it's, it's so incredible. These two are f so fantastic with each other. Just, uh, uh, Catherine Ledford, she just has such a dry wit to during this entire episode. Just, uh, anytime, just like, uh, when, hit, when Clay and Sky are, like, having lunch with each other. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's a great single witch. You know, Sky, that, 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 that's kind of Pagan's daughter. I didn't realize that. But, um, anyway, uh, when he, she just, he just, uh, he, she just sounded like, you know, I kind of like her. I think she's good for you. That that made me laugh. Like the end of the episode when uh, okay, that's the one part of the episode that that was the one part of the episode that really didn't work for me. Just when um, just when Sky has her big breakdown, I'm like, yeah, I know she's not supposed to be those mentally sale people. I just thought the it was really over overacting there, and which is, is very does well in this show because all the actors do a really great job for the most part, but uh. Then at the end, when she's being taken away in the hospital, and just you see, uh, just uh, just with Gavin Ledford, just uh, when Hannah had just says like, "Wow, you really like choosing the damaged girls," and uh, just it would Clay, I, I was so tired of just say "fuck you," and uh, when he just starts screaming in her face, oh, that was incredible. God, are these two so great with one another? But. So anyway, onward to episode three. Oh, and I, did, uh, I forgot to mention this on the first episode. Of all the ways that this series would begin, I did not think it would begin with, um, basically the cast basically doing a video just saying, like, hey guys, um, I, I guess a lot of people didn't realize when we made a show about suicide that, uh, it was gonna go deal with some very dark and triggering material, but a lot of people complained, apparently, with the first season, so, word of warning before you come into this season, that's what we're talking about again, so, uh, if you get triggered, 
can't blame us this time for not warning you. So, um, basically they made an idiot proof of video at the beginning of this season. So, uh, yeah, uh, but so, uh, yeah, well, significant improvement over the first episode, but far less cringy dialogue, um, and the fact that they figured out how to get uh, Dylan Minnette and Catherine Langford, like, more, like, just basically have them together for the entire season, because that is the show that's best as these two acting off one another, and, uh, well done, so... Anyway, oh, and thank God someone besides me remembered that uh, Tyler is a legitimate goddamn stalker. Why did it have to be the word? Uh, why did it have to be the completely obnoxious character, though? God damn it! Okay, what 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 does that say about me exactly? Oh well, one more. I think I'll do one more episode tonight. Onwards.